Hi, so today I want to talk about simultaneity. Simultaneity? Simultaneous events. One day I will learn to pronounce that along with anthropomorphizing. I guess he did that. Anyway, simultaneous events. So in the theory of general relativity, there is no preferred reference frame. Space and time are relative and space-time is one sort of thing put together and very different how we in the usual course of our lives look at space and time as being different things in the theory of general relativity and indeed in the actual reality of our world space and time are really intimately connected by the idea of no preferred reference frame means that you can never put any more importance to one frame of reference to another so if i am looking at something happening and you are looking at something happening i can't say that my view is more correct than what you see as long as you make correct observations from your own point of view without any internal delusions. So a way to understand this better is with Penrose diagrams and we start with basic space-time diagrams. So this is a really basic space-time diagram. Upwards we have time and in this direction we have space. And then we have these constructs called light cones. This is everything that can happen in the future and everything that can interact with you. So 45 degree angles, space and time are configured on this diagram in a way that light moves at 45 degree angles. So let's say that something happens far in the past and also far in the distance. Only way how you can bear witness to that event is if you wait long enough until the speed of light, let's say that this was a supernova explosion. So you need to wait all of this time until the light cones cross and in here into your future in this moment of time you can actually see the light coming from that supernova. I hope that that makes sense. But we as human beings, we are so used to of this notion of right now. Well, we can talk about the galaxy being a million light years away, but we still want to sort of ask and think about it in a way. Well, what's happening there right now? And right now, by this moment I'm experiencing now, stretch all the way, million light years away. What's happening there right now? But truly understanding the nature of general relativity, that question really doesn't make sense. So the way that we want to intuitively look at it is to think, well, if this one supernova happened and another supernova happened, we want to think of as there being some world line that events can happen simultaneously. That these both supernovas a large distance apart, but they happen somewhere the same along the time. But time is not a straight line. And to understand better how this can happen, we use another space-time diagram. So in here, these three different dots represent three different events. And from our point of view, the way that we view this space-time and this diagram from our reference frame, we see this event taking place first, then the second event taking place, and then the third event taking place. But for a different observer, maybe moving close to the speed of light, they might see something completely different from their own reference frame. So instead of this geometry, everything is with angles to this. And so then from their point of view, they see this event happening first, then this event happening second, and this event happening third. So it's all really relative when something does happen. So when we're looking at these light cones, at light moving at 45 degree angles, this only works over large times and large distances to make it able for light to move at 45 degree angles. This is all at the speed of light and light years. And it makes a little more sense why we intuitively think of things happening right now when we try to make the same light cone space-time diagram to our everyday normal world. Instead of having years and light years, we have kilometers or miles and we have minutes or seconds. And if you try to draw a light cone here, then what used to be a 45 degree angle is now almost flat. In fact, this here, this difference is greatly exaggerated. This would be almost a flat line. When we're dealing with our own planet Earth, our light cones are almost flat. And that's why everything can happen in this space of so things happening around the world. You get a phone call, you know, a volcano explodes, whatever happens. Everything is all in our common light cones. It's almost flat for everyone on planet Earth. It's only if you go to bigger and larger scales in space and time when this light cone starts to sort of group together into more distinct uh, sort of shapes. And then we can see the differences in truly vast time scales and space times of how the differences arise. But in our medium sized world with seconds and minutes and hours and meters and kilometers, uh, all our light cones are pretty much flat and that's the reason 
why it makes sense for us to think of things as happening right now and to ask the question of something happening right now on the other side of the planet, but why it doesn't make sense to ask what's happening in the other side of the galaxy. Because there is no preferred reference frame. Our point of view of what's happening right now is irrelevant to some different point of view or not preferred to any different point of view. We are moving through space at great speed. We are rotating. We are moving around the sun. Our sun is moving around the center of the galaxy. Our galaxy is rotating around other galaxies. Our galaxies in a galaxy group rotating around other galaxy groups. Space is expanding. There is no solid point where you can stand and look at the cosmos and say that this is the best way uh, to look at the world. Everything truly is relative. And this is uh, difficult to comprehend, but I hope that here at least we gave some idea of, of how we can think about it. So I hope there was something interesting here for you. If you have any thoughts, please share them in the comments. And of course, thank you so much for watching and take care.